Steve Stevens for the Disability Channel, and uh, I don't get to have many role models that I look up to, but it's pretty cool. We got the only guy in college football that ever played without legs, and I tried it for the Dallas Cowboys, but I'm with the man is the only NFL player who's missing a hand, and, uh, you know, you don't realize it because you're such a good football player. Uh, Shaquem, what's it like to, uh, first, congratulations on your big win. Uh, how do you feel about that today? Oh, I feel good. I mean, um, obviously, we didn't come out with a win last week, but for us to be able to bounce back and be able to sh show what kind of ball that we can play, you know, it's always a good feeling. So, you know, we're gonna definitely going to be able to get on this plane and take the coach's seat on the ride home. So that's always a good thing. Now, are people still fascinated by this and, and the fact that you have made it so far when so many people would just give up and walk away and just kind of live their lives feeling sorry for themselves? I mean, uh, some people are surprised, but I think a lot of people are starting to get a hang of it now, you know, after, after one year already. Um, but, you know, I still got a lot of people that need to see more. Uh, I got to show a lot of people because, you know, obviously it, there's, still, there's still things that need to be done. There's still things I need to be able to contribute, especially to the team and being able to show everybody that no matter what you have, you can always play. I've thought about that the same way all my life by playing sports. But, you know, the thing is, this is our normal, and people don't understand that they label that word, you know, what's what's normal, what's normal. This has been the way you know how to live your life, and I don't think people understand what normal really is. Uh, exactly, and, you know, it, it's kind of crazy because, you know, when it comes to playing football and everybody just see me playing with one hand, it was like it's, it's abnormal. It's like you've never seen it before, so – you know, for me to be able to be here today and be able to showcase my talents without having a hand, it's like it doesn't matter what you have. If you can play ball, you can play ball. And it's still surreal to a lot of people because it's like it's never been seen before, but, you know, they have no choice but to see it now. My philosophy is I'm a rock star because they're going to stare at us anyway, so I've always tried to rise my game and the things I've done. Have you felt like that all your way, all your life? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's a positive standpoint and, and a negative standpoint to it, but it's all how you handle it you know, personally, and I feel like throughout the negative negative stuff, I was able to use that as fuel as fire to get to where I need to go. And for the positive standpoint, when you say everybody's looking, you know, enjoy it. Take it all in. Just keep doing what you're doing and keep being a baller. How do you want your legacy? I call mine my legacy, but how do you want your legacy to be uh, when you walk away from this game? Uh, I just want to make a big impact. I want to be able to, to show kids or anybody who have dreams and aspirations to be great, just to be able to push themselves to make sure they get it done. Uh, no, don't allow anybody to dictate what you're going to be in life because at the end of the day, it's up to you uh, to dictate what your life is going to be like. And that just giving your full effort 100%, 100% of the time. And I always say, I hate that word disabled. A car is disabled. Your resume, your handicap, they look at that and they go, that's not a guy that's a handicap. I mean, we're limb different. I mean, how would you describe yourself? Uh, definitely uh, not disabled or handicapped. I mean, I can do anything I put my mind to. And it's kind of crazy because people throw it around like it's, it's just a, a normal word. But, you know, for us, it's like you putting limitations on us. On, on us. And we don't put limitations on, our, on ourselves. So, you know, when you hear it, it's just like, uh, you know, it's okay for you to say it. But just know that we don't like it. Like, um, So at the end of the day, it's just me being able to not worry about what they're saying and still just focus on me and focus on what I need to do and focus on setting that example for everybody else that's going through the same thing as me. Final question, camps like Nubability, uh, organizations that are letting kids see a guy like this, a role model like you, a role model like a Jim Abbott, that they can do anything in life. What do you think you want people to see that are disabled that know that, hey, just go out there and do what you can and you never know what's going to happen? Fight for what you want. You know, give everything you got. You know, never allow yourself to say that something's too hard for you not to be able to finish you know nothing is hard it's only a challenge and i think for everybody they need, they need to be able to see it that way don't think it's something hard think it's a challenge and be able to beat that challenge and then go to the next challenge and beat that too and be able to, to focus on what you want in life and just keep fighting for it you know it's always going to be barriers in front of you but it's always a way to beat it so just do it all right we got two legs three arms and a couple of guys that have overcome a lot right all right shakim thanks so much for your time best of luck it's awesome to see what you're doing so all right let's send it back to you guys